And welcome back to The Mountain Gardener. This is your host, Ken Lane, with his favorite gal, Lisa Waters Lane. She's been gardening her entire life, which is short, brief, and beautiful. <laughs> you little youngster, how's your uh, New Year's resolutions going? Oh, pretty good so far. Really? Yeah. Name one. Well, that's too personal. Pet, pet my dog a little bit longer. <laughs> Take an extra 30 minutes per day to pet, pet, pet a schnauzer. Ah. Uh, well, yes, they deserve it. And I uh, deserve it. Dry January is going pretty well for both of us. <laughs> well, see, I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> then we have to meet, That's we have to admit to folks, we drink sometimes, <laughs> but not in January. So it's kind yeah. of a discipline. It's kind of a, can you do it? It's kind of like a, I don't know, like a fast. So in fact, I found my, myself the other day, kind of had a little craving, not really, but uh, mm -hmm. going up. Oh, well, I'll use this time to pray, kind of a reminder going, you know, true fast, biblical fast kind of thing, or mm -hmm. there's several, anyway, that's too personal, but that anyway, is. that's, it's going up good. I don't have, okay. I think I feel better. I, I feel good. I don't miss it too much. I think I might be uh, losing poundage. I don't know about that. <laughs> no, not, not at all. It didn't help at all. Uh, I need that resolution to kind of. Maybe, kinda... maybe by the end of the month. We'll report again at the end of the month. <laughs> maybe we <laughs> won't. <laughs> so uh, this is a garden segment. So we're talking about so uh, our gardening. Okay. I noticed that the uh, Scotty, we've got a Scotty at home, uh, mm -hmm. a puppy, maybe months. six months, seven no, months old. About eight months. Eight months old. Anyway, found the the love of of. Digging holes. That's a Scotty. That's a Scotty. They like to yeah. dig. So we've had Scotties mm -hmm. before. They love mm -hmm. going out. They love going with you and gardening. They like mm -hmm. planting bulbs and flowers. I'd planted some some pansies, oh, maybe a month ago. <laughs> and they were looking pretty good. The snow had kind of was beating them up a little bit. And the yeah. Scotty went, you know what? I think I'll jump up here in this help you. ginormous pot. And I'll just like... <laughs> throw these things all over the patio and so now it's just a mess so uh, and now they're in the raised beds so that's a puppy phase eventually yeah. tilly tilly will get out of it that's our dog's name so <laughs> just puppy and as soon as it warms up and it thaws we'll be able to garden because scotties are the best garden dogs they are ever they, like they love hanging you. out there with you mm -hmm. so we'll kind of hang and trim we've been trimming pruning stuff already uh -huh. so she likes that sure so anyway yes what about gardening for you what, what kind of <laughs> this is a q a thing what are what well, are people so asking three minutes in we yeah. still haven't covered the question <laughs> but yes we can do that speaking of pruning there's actually a lot of pruning questions so um tom moved into a home in chino that has several mature apple trees sure. uh, cherry trees sort of trees wants to know when he should start pruning those. Yeah. And then also what else should he should be doing for those fruit trees right now, preparing for spring? So you've got now, Tom, you've got about six weeks. This is Chino Valley. Any of the, anyone in the central highlands from Sedona, Camp Verde, Cottonwood to, you know, Paulden, Chino Valley, Skull Valley, Kirkland, Prescott Valley, Dewey, Humboldt, oh, the whole area, whole central island, uh, central highlands. Uh, we, we've got a lot of fruit trees here. So apples, pears, cherries, apricots, nectarines. Mm -hmm. You can go on and on. There's a lot of them. Uh, now through March is when we prune things. And so take your time, get a nice day, and just go knock it out. Get all those dead branches out of there. Anything that cr grows to the middle, crossing branches, things that rub. You know, there's there's some handouts on that. And I'll be writing a few garden columns on that here shortly. So uh, follow us. You'll be able to get that, Tom. But but you you prune finish pruning now all of your fruit trees all of them. Uh, there's different techniques for each one. There's not enough time for that. There's encyclopedias. <laughs> I've got that's one. Follow us on on Facebook or Instagram or or, or newsletter, mm -hmm. and you'll be an expert by the time you get through March because I've got two or three. Uh, how to prune berries, how to prune fruit trees. Anyway, don't we do a uh, garden class? We too? do a garden class on that. Um, so j prune when you're done pruning. You spray everything in the yard, really, but especially focus on fruit trees because because you enjoy fruits and so do bugs and disease and deer and everything enjoys fruit trees because they're so sweet and delicious mm -hmm. and they're just my mouth's just watering thinking about an apple. <laughs> uh, so anyway, that that's you spray it with uh, horticultural oil. Mm -hmm. It's a heavy grade oil that coats the trunk coats the eggs that were laid down in the crevices of the trunk and the crotches up in the branches. You're, you're hosing that entire thing down from a couple directions with a hose-in sprayer. I mean, this is 
quantity more than quality. Just get that oil up there. It will coat the eggs and suffocate them. Mm -hmm. Any There are bugs wintering over at the base of your tree up in the, up in the trunk. You don't see them, yeah. but they're there. Mm -hmm. And they're waiting to come out till that tree blossoms and to start munching on your apple tree. Spray it with horticultural oil. Get rid of it. Right after that, you fertilize. So do all of this. It doesn't matter the sequence, really. Just, just prune, spray with horticulture oil, and put a fruit tree food down. And you're set. And then you know, wait for spring to come. Mm -hmm. So things will start blooming. You know, typically April, April through May is when when fruit trees bloom. Right. It starts with apricots, then <clears throat> nectarines, and it's just a series of of blossoms that happen. And it feels like it's going to be a good year. So the bot the buds are big. Yeah. On the on the trees, on, on the maples, on the aspens, mm -hmm. things are looking like they're plump and happy and they want to grow. Right. And I just want to say the horticultural oil is a organic oil. Oh, actually, yeah. it's a it's not toxic right. to us or right. other critters in the yard. Just right. those bugs that we don't want. Just the bugs. It's probably <laughs> the safest. Now, there are different kinds of oils. There are petroleum based oils. So, so mm -hmm. uh, like oily based oils. I would say don't use those. I mean, they'll, they'll, you'll save a couple dollars by buying one of those, but it's not organic. It's right. it's it's not as good. It's going to hurt your birds and the, the dogs and yourself. You can go with organic oils that are super safe, mm -hmm. it's, and they're not they aren't that expensive. Right. They go a long way. So I think it's a couple tablespoons to a mm -hmm. gallon of water. So it goes a long ways. Right. And good advice. And the other thing is, yes, yeah, spray your fruit trees, but even your evergreens. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can yeah. spray those as well. Everything in the Spray yard. everything. When you've got that tool out, so get a good hose and sprayer. Mm -hmm. This is where a good tool, you'll, you'll pay a little bit more for a really good tool, but it'll, you'll use it for decades. Right. And it makes the job super easy. Mm -hmm. Just pour this stuff, pour the oil in the, in the hopper, connect a hose. And Lock spray the whole yard, evergreens, mm -hmm. roses, mm -hmm. anywhere where you had a disease. Uh, oils actually will coat spores of, of powdery right. mildew and leaf mm -hmm. spot. And there's a lot of benefits with it, not just insects. But Tom's question was fruit trees specifically right. in Chino Valley. Yep, That's what you do, Tom. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Next question concerns pruning as well. But this one is more about pruning a large blue spruce. So Shelby okay. has a large blue spruce, mature, yeah. encroaching on a driveway. Yeah, it's classic. So um, mm. needs to prune it, wants to know when's the best time to do that. Yeah. So so now's the time. So winter. So the new year kind of marks the start of pruning season. And typically you have until the everything wakes up in spring, which is the end of March. Mm -hmm. So you have until spring, which is March 21st or whatever. So, so feel some urgency, but that's free. That's a few weeks away. So right. you've got some time. Just pick a nice day, but you'll cut back those lower branches on a spruce. And hopefully it's not encroaching too much because yeah. if you prune them up too high, you look funny. A spruce can look Dr. Yeah. Seuss's, you know, yeah. Susi, whatever that Ugly. word is, makeup words on the airwaves, <laughs> just spew them out there. It'll look like a Dr. Seuss garden. Yeah. Uh, but, but but a few, few limbs. Right. I like spruce and, and evergreens pruned up a limb or two because it makes it easier to clean out from underneath them. Your quail and your birds won't be happy because they love to spend time underneath. That's their protection. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But it's it's you got to park your car. That's that true. big old 350 uh, out there in the driveway. Don't, <laughs> no, Dooley. I can just see her now. <laughs> <laughs> You cowgirls. There you go. <laughs> well, I do have another question, but I think it's going to... Hey, if you did it really quick, maybe. Okay. Wants to put in a 200 square foot wildflower garden. Yeah. Wants to know, <laughs> what does she need to know? Oh, uh, <laughs> in 15 <laughs> seconds or less, hey, come in. We've got a handout. We make our own wildflower seed. Mm -hmm. There's different qualities. This right. is one where you want good quality wildflower seeds because that means difference. perennials. Mm -hmm. So they'll come back every year. So you do it once and you're done for years. But come in and talk to us sidebar here at the Garden Center. We're come, we have a mm -hmm. class at the end of this this month mm -hmm. called Why January is the month, best month to plant wildflowers. Come in and see us. Ken and Lisa Lane, the Mountain Gardeners, will be right back right okay. after this.